Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition where I've gotten some sleep and I will hopefully not be uh, such a silly goose. Um, I think we completed everything here and I was gonna do like one, no, K Kitty! Kitty, stop! She's trying to break down the blinds. Um, my sister's cat. Uh, la 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 la. Investigate facility is the next real one we can do. <gasps> That's right. Nodacrux is located in the Vostic system of the Maroon Sea cluster. Okay. Off we go. Oh, and I checked. We haven't gotten the achievement for Garrus yet. <laughs> I wasn't sure if after one mission that was going to happen. It's a very real possibility. Um. Oh, whoops. Oh, see? My... My hands still remember a different time. I, ju I just got hungry. This is, this is the worst. I ate a cookie for breakfast, and I was like, that's fine for the whole day. It is not. Let me just... Did I already pass over it while not paying attention? Because I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, yep, I did. <laughs> Robo we'll probably do the whole massive run around the galaxy and find all the quests and stuff and all the minerals. Before Vermeyer, maybe? Oh, I was like, it's gonna be one of those ones where you don't have anything, but we did. Heavy metal. Nice. Clomarthu. It's reducing atmosphere. has reducing atmospheric methane and nitrogen. The surface is hot, mainly composed of sodium with deposits of uranium. In terms of size and orbit, it's the virtual twin of Earth, but utterly lacks life. Fascinating. It's also much closer to the sun, I think. Either that or, like, other terrestrial objects didn't get, didn't get orbitized that close. Looks like we've got an active distress beacon ah. on the planet below, Commander. No message, just a locator signal. Let's see. Oh, is this... I think this is... Oh my gosh, I think this is the, the, the shifty cow planet. I could be totally wrong, but I, it is a green world like this. Okay, la, 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 la. It's a veritable world, but an at water, temperate climate, nitrogen, oxygen, atmosphere, and a rich ecosystem. It would seem to be perfect for life. A relatively high percentage of oxygen makes humans feel energized and alive, although it has also allowed insect analogs to grow to powerful sizes. Unfortunately, Nodacrux is a case of almost not quite. Thunderstorms are as common on Earth, but in Nodacrux's thicker, oxygen rich atmosphere, they are deafening and spark constant wildfires. More damning, however, are the large and ubiquitous tufts of pollen that float on the high pressure air, and humans and other oxygen breathing species that cause severe or, or lethal allergic reactions. This is a really, this was a pretty planet even when they didn't have nice graphics, so we'll see. The, the geological properties of Alco have been scanned from orbit, but little else is known about it. Typical mix of outer system terrestrial rock ice, trace atmosphere of krypton and xenon. Unregistered starship traffic has been reported in the vicinity of this pl planet. Travel is not advised. Oh, sometimes you get hints as to what's going on like in the entire system. Like if you have like the one planet you can land on, you'll get hints about a little bit what's going on or like a mystery by reading the other planets in both graphics stuff. Matriarch, I was expecting, yes. Scans of pat patition, patation revealed strange and manifest orbit around the planet. Tally brought it on board and determined it was a sorry maid, but very old. She discovered several ancient artifacts of the vessel, including one of Matriarch Delamega's writings. I hope we take proper care of them and give them back to the Asari to whom they belong. Um, out we go. Okay, that was everything. Now it's time to potentially be like, I, I know that this this pollen one, plus like I, I know that the creepers are here, and that that's always stuck with me when you come over a verdant green hill and you find creepers uh, just running around in the wilderness. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's go, boys. Let's do this. I 
just love... Like, could you imagine being on the planet below? And seeing this little Mako get yeeted out of a ship. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at the grass! Wow! I, I'm pretty sure in the old version you didn't actually have, like, tufts. Like, it was, uh, everything was just, like, it was green, but it looked like that, you know? It looked kind of like that with no tufts. That's what it looked like. Eat this! Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Don't eat that grass, I'm so sorry. Okay, 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 okay. I gotta do this. What who yeah. Oh, this is the distress signal. Oh yeah, okay, okay, that's what I thought. It is it is continuation, yeah. We're like, wow, why are they getting shipments out there? There shouldn't be anything out there. And then we're like, oh, apparently there's a whole freaking colony out here. Map. Why are there I, I remember this. There are like enemies in front of me, but everything is behind me. Why? Yeah, I don't... I don't remember all of it. I don't remember details. It's just like a little... See, there they are. make too much fun of them because even the sentient beings ran at me like this. They seem to thrive in this allergic pollen stuff. Oh, whoops. Those might have been crates I could, uh, <laughs> loot that I broke. This, this machine is just overpowering. Except sometimes my bullets don't hit what they're supposed to. I do see- Oh no! Those crates went away. Man. I don't know why I decided to try to do it. Mm, this was foolish. Oh, I did it. Some light armor? But I have medium armor now. I want light armor. I guess I should probably give... Garrus, one of the nice sniper rifles. Whoopsie. That's okay, I get so much crap. Let's get this mineral. Oh wait. Yeah, we'll come back. So there might be something in that other little outpost bunch of scientists. The thing is, is, like, part of me is like, oh, look, it's like these, like, growths that grew. But, like, I don't, like, when I look at creepers, I'm like, oh, they're, they're not, like, oh my gosh, I remember this. Okay, here we go. Whee! <laughs> there it is, I see it. Um, like, a part of me just thinks that they're Thorian growths, but they're actually just like husks. They were made from people. Like they got infected with the spores. Oh, more gold. Alright, now we need to freaking map our way out of this. Oh, jeez. Because there's probably no going back the way I came. Yeah. Alright. Some of them are really mean, and they put the mining stuff in, like, these deep ravines, and it's like, why? Why must you make me suffer? Let's see if we can... Where 
Oh, I know. You need to turn back, Commander. I know. Going beyond the range I of the know. operational area. Ah, I know. I'm gonna try to get out and around that way, but and as fast as I could, but apparently not. Oh, I could. Oh, I could probably go up that. Go, oh, Mago. This is not even that hard. Come on. cheat. We're going to return to the Normandy and then get plopped back down. Because, uh, uh, work smarter, not harder. Green planet, it's crazy. I can't believe we've never been here. Um, anomaly debris that's the actual facility. Okay, let's go have a gander. This is not the shifty cow planet, by the way. They do say in the shifty cow, at least I'm pretty sure in the shifty cow planet description, it does say, it does talk about the life forms that are there. Down to the pie jack planet yet. Where are the trees at? Uh, they did their best with the remake. You can't expect them to put, like, you know. Like, a part of me did hope, like, you know, oh, total overhaul for all the planets, and like, oh, you know, not like all of them. Some of them are just rocks. <laughs> but, planets like this that had greenery, I was kind of hoping for more stuff, and like, maybe more aliens, but, like, alien creatures, but... It's okay, I didn't, I wasn't really expecting it, it was just like, a, oh, that would be cool. <laughs> Notice how we also, this isn't actually considered a hazard, because we are. Ah. Not having the hazard thing show up. Even though the pollen's supposed to be bad for us. Computer has power linking with your hearts that you recover a batch of files containing data on the Thracia colony. You would think other people would be like, I mean, maybe they have, like, located these. But. These are pretty remote planets, really. Like, not a, you know, you don't get, like, tons of traffic going through these areas. For most of them. Let's see. Was hopeful. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was hopeful. I can't quite remember, but I think if you just stay outside the operational parameters too long, they just like yank you back like the main landing zones. I probably just could have wandered around out there and gotten put back to where I was supposed to be.
Is it the shifty cows? Oh my gosh, it is the cows! I thought it was the other one. <sighs> okay, I thought I thought they would tell you in the I'm thing. Anyway, anyway, look, 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 look at these things. They're 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 called cows or something, but there's one of them. Where you at? Where's the shifty one? This is some of the only actual life forms that you see, <laughs> like when you're like wandering around on these planets. I swear you could get like a like a like a codex entry on them. Maybe this is not the shifty cow planet. It's just the... This was the one where I think we find, like, the giant insect... Like, it does say something about giant insectoids, but... Like, in the description. But, like, you do find these really big <laughs> insects. I think you can even kill these creatures, but why would you Why would you do that? They're just, like, little cows. Living their lives. Oh, man. Oh, I, yeah, I thought I left the makeup up there, didn't Anyway, welcome to, um... One of the only animal life forms that we see. There's, like, the pie jacks, there's these cows. There's the big insects. And then there's the Thresher mobs, but these are benign. <laughs> there we go. O onwards to science. Uh, we're probably gonna have to go around. What? That way is... Oh my gosh. Your topo maps are not doing a good job. Here, here, here. Re this, really? After taking an extremely long roundabout way to get through this very mountainous terrain. You can barely see it up there. unfair. I don't even know what they can do with my vehicle, but I think they can't and they can hit it. And they, I think they actually hit through shields because it doesn't it doesn't block melee. You know, shields just block like energy and like some missile damage. There were people who had the privilege of not being turned into creepers, just just dead. Just dead. Let's save so I don't have to make that grueling crawl all the way back again. <laughs> Looks like a market. Like a mini. Oh my gosh, look at this though. Whoa, Thorian egg sack things. You coming? You, you better, Caden, you better get over here. Okay, that was, that was weird. Like, follow me now. Huddle up! Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I was, I guarantee you, I would have almost got into a fight without Cade and he would have been stuck there. Trying to find another here, we'll do. Sorry. I can't believe see Garrus just he just dies. Get off this wherever you're on, get off of it! No, 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 no. Good to go, man. That time. Good as new. Yikes! <laughs> Just... Oh, that's good. I think he killed it, but. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Clear. Ah, oh my gosh, Garrus is about to die. And I don't, like, healing him is ineffective right now. Maybe I could give him. Nope, oh, not that. Uh, Garrus. I don't think I have anything. Yeah. But the upgrade. Was it? No, not exoskeleton. The medical one. Yeah. Then you can regen a bit. I know, I'm, I feel like there's a bunch like sitting and hiding in a corner somewhere, but that's not how it works, especially when I can see them on my radar. But it's so eerily quiet, I'm just waiting for them to like drop out of the ceiling. Never go to the objective first. Crow pods. Or this is actually probably the medical suite, right? This is where you go to like get better, hopefully. <laughs> Except it's probably an experimentation lab. No oh, my jeez. No. Um not that he's using why why did he was using the shotgun that whole time? That doesn't help him. Anyway, let's give him Sniper rifle. Oh dang. I kind of want a new shotgun. I feel like my current one doesn't have quite the oomph I'm, that I want for it, but I don't know. It's fine, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. 
And in here we get to find some questionable, some questionable people. Rescuers? Oh, thank God. Mm -hmm. See? I told you somebody would come to investigate that signal. Uh -huh. My name is Dr. Ross, chief exogeny researcher at this facility. We've been trapped in this room for days. We're almost out of food and water. You got here just in time. Notice they all have weapons. <laughs> I need to know what's going on. Why is this place crawling with Thorian creepers? How do you know about the Thorian? Uh, she's like, oh, it's proprietary data. I know what Exogeny was up to. I saw what they let the Thorian do to those colonists. So I destroyed it. Our secret's out then. No point in my lying. You already know the worst. The creepers here were created using altered samples from the specimens on Pharos. We discovered a way to turn them into docile, obedient servants. Everything was going fine until a few days ago. Yeah, uh huh. And all the creepers suddenly went berserk. Only a handful of us made it back into the safety of this room. I mean, what do you? It's like it's like the whole aliens plots, right? You know, where it's like, oh, what's that? That like two named group. Uh, I can't remember the name, but yeah, they're always like, no, we can definitely, uh, we can definitely, science will, will definitely serve us and not the other way around. It's like, I don't think you understand. Well, plus it's like, they're like sentient. Well, I guess the creepers are partially sentient. I don't know, but they're creatures that are designed to just amp you up and you're like, oh yeah, we can totally make this work. It'll totally be fine. Like. Why didn't you send a clear message asking for help? All we had was that signal from the emergency beacon. This is a closed communications base. Exogeny was worried about someone on the project selling secrets to a rival firm or reporting our work to the authorities. <laughs> we have no direct communication with the outside, only the emergency beacon. It sends a general distress signal to the Exogeny site on Pharos. They're supposed to send a team to respond inside of 24 hours, but it sounds like they had problems of their own. Yeah, that doesn't seem like a, a great... Like, you only have one method of communication, right? Like, what if that breaks down, then you're screwed. Oh. Any chance some of the other people at the base might still be alive? Hmm, I doubt it. Too many creepers out there. They never stood a chance. We're the only ones left. I did find that one base, and there was nobody left alive there. Any idea why they turned on you? Maybe there was still some kind of link between the creepers and the thorian back on pharos the thorian was unlike any other life form we've ever studied i can't explain how but maybe when it died it it somehow set off the creepers here so of course they're like it's like nothing we've ever studied so we're gonna try to make weapons out of it and it's like she's like i'm worried we were worried they were gonna report our work to the authorities i'm like if that <laughs> if that's actually a consideration and you're like <laughs> emergency protocols like maybe you're the bad guys <laughs> I've heard all I need to look I know what we did here was wrong I'll admit that <laughs> but it's over now yeah no there's no sense reporting this to the authorities right no don't even try this people who try to who do like the wrong thing right and they don't want any consequences for their actions it makes me so angry it's currently going on kind of with like the whole Activision Blizzard thing but it's just like there are consequences to your actions. People were hurt. Oh, it was in the past. So it still happened. It still happened. Like, people were hurt. Like, you need to make reparations for this in, in, in any way that you can. But it still won't bring back people who are dead. You know, like, you have that on your head for the rest of your life. You were in charge of this project. The safety of the staff was your responsibility. They trusted you, and you betrayed that trust. Be reasonable. I didn't mean for this to happen. Besides, how does it help anyone if I end up in jail? It, it's punishment! Normally, Exo Jenny would have my back, but it sounds like they're going to have their hands full cleaning up the mess on Pharos. But I've got oh money. Oh my gosh! A nice little emergency fund I set up. It's yours if you let us go. <gasps> no. The victims here deserve justice. I have to take you in. Uh... That's not going to happen. I think Open it fire. is, it Open is fire. absolutely hilarious how <laughs> this group of scientists think they can take down three top of the line military operatives. They're just, I guess they're like, there's more of us than them. I'm like, uh, I'm literally, I've got like two biotic. No, 
Yeah, two biotics, you know, like, and we're military trained, wearing armor, and they're wearing cloth. Like, they could probably, go, 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 go. they could technically probably wreck me, honestly. But, I thought I saw one with a shield, maybe. No? Oh, yeah, there's a merc back there. Okay. Oh, dang it. Oh, I got him, too. See, that, that, ki oh, that killed him with one shot. Oh, I should have, I should have hit that thing. Come out. They should slow down. Did we hit him? I don't think we did. Oh, she's stuck. Did she? Oh, she died. Oh no. I'm right next to an explosive. Jenny's second rate. Mercs proved no match for a training alliance. Marine with the last of the science crew dead. There's no reason to linger here. I think this is one of the few times we're going Paragon. Actually, um, has you kill people. I think. Oh, nice. That, um,. I think if you go renegade, you leave them alive because you take the bribe, but I'm not sure. You might just be... I think I think the way I've played it before, I'm pretty sure you're just extra angry at them. Uh, Holy. should probably give that... Oh. Well, actually, Gary says it's pretty good, so maybe I will give it to Caden. Excuse me. Anyway, yeah. It's a it's a fairly unique mission setup where you're like, oh, I can talk him out of it, but you can't. Not that I really wanted to. But it, I think you either killed them very angrily or you killed them kindly, or <laughs> however you want to say it, but. Yeah. It's not like the talking down the biotics, you know, who are like, you know, people who were like pushed to the brink out of desperation for, you know, justice or what happened to them. Whereas these people were just evil scientists who have no moral code whatsoever. <laughs> or they have a moral code so backwards, I guess, that you, uh, you, you just hit them in the face with it. <laughs> it just comes right back around and smack them in the face. But... Yay. Now, see, here's the thing. is I was hoping to kind of get Garrus' achievement because when we go to Novaria, we definitely will take Liara with us and we'll definitely take Rex with us. Uh, which will probably get us Liara's um, stuff done, honestly, because there's, like, several missions within Novaria. But, Yeah. I don't know how long this one is, sorry, because I had to edit out some things. So maybe it's actually extra long. I apologize. I'll try to make it more reasonable. But this is the part of the video, really quick, where I say thank you to my patrons. So I want to say thank you to Reese Galito. Thank you so much for being a sapling patron on my Patreon and supporting me in playing video games. Thank you very much. And I want to say thank you to Skellamonger, who is also a sapling patron on Patreon. And thank you so much for your support. Truly. I appreciate it, <laughs> and I want to give an extra special thank you to Christopher, who is a tree patron, and who is the super extra coolest. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate your support, and thank you everybody else. I appreciate you watching a ton, so I hope you all have a good day, and I hope to see you in the next one.